It looks super repeatable to me. So the first Aldoa move is you're gonna have your legs in the, up in the air. They're gonna be slightly, sh just narrower than shoulder width apart. You're gonna have your toes pointed in and then your entire backside is going to be flexed straight, okay? And then you're going to have your arms above your head straight and we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And what you're gonna to wanna to keep on reminding yourself to do is have your chin tucked to your chest and have your legs straight. So knees locked basically. Arms straight, back to the ground. Extending your hands, flexing your hands out. Shoulder blades to the ground. And if you start shaking, you're doing it right. And just really extend and flex your hands. Legs are straight up in the air. Okay, and relax. That's one rep. Yes. <laughs> so intense stretching. Yes, it's intense stretching, and you might even like get some pops in your back a little bit. So the next one. We're going to be in 90 degree angles, so you'll want your, your foot to your shin to be 90 degrees, so it's going to be flexed. Your shin to your um, quad is going to be 90 degrees, and then um, between each leg is going to be 90 degrees, okay? So what you want is to try and get both your butt cheeks to touch the ground, and then also... Which so is challenging. Which is challenging, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you'll feel it all right here. And once you can do that, you also want to try and get both knees to get on the ground, but with the priority of getting your butt cheek to the ground, okay? And so whatever leg is back, you're going to have your arms out, the palms facing out like your, um, yep, yeah, just like that. Hands flexed and same thing. We're gonna tuck the chin to the chest and just, Strength or stretch your back to be as tall as it can with while also keeping your chin to the your chest. You're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Flexing your feet again. So it's tall, but then just the chin comes down. Yeah, and come at it. And then an easy way, so we're gonna flip sides. An easy way to do that is you just go a little. And this is a um, piece of dynamic kind of flexibility that we use. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and show them just that 90s, how you kind of just roll back and forth from, yep. So. Okay. So it's just a so, it's just a dyna dynamic kind of flexibility move. So go ahead and do, go ahead and do that, guys. So, but this, you can do it a little bit faster. Once you get once you get good at it, you can go faster. I think until you get good at it, I think you just keep it nice and steady. Mm -hmm. But then once you if you ever watch like uh, world class sprinters warm up, they'll do this and they and they just kind of rock back and forth, bam, bam, bam. But it's loose. It's not like they're trying to go hard and like banging their knee off the ground or anything like that. Go ahead, go into the next one. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. So remember, flex the feet, 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees between both legs. And then arms up, fingers down. And you're gonna have one side that's going to be more flexible and one side that's probably gonna be less flexible. Mm -hmm. And so you just wanna really focus on Maybe even spend a little bit more time, like start on your poor side, go to your go to your uh, your good side, and then spend a little bit more time on the on the poor side. And like as Alexa said, when you if you're shaking, so it's thirty seconds, and we do what up to sixty? Have, have they even said ninety seconds or is it just, no, just 60. thirty to sixty? Yeah. So this is from uh, Damn Faf. So. 
Wait, I'm this. And for the audience, we have we have three guests with us today. They're yes. just not on video. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we'll have one more. So you're gonna start in a lunge position, like this. And I'll show. There's two ways for you to do this. One is a little bit more advanced than the other. So the first beginning section is make sure that your pelvis is tucked underneath your hips, okay? And you're gonna want your foot to be flexed on the ground like this, okay? So your toes tucked underneath you, and arms out, same position as the last one, and you're gonna go forward with keeping your hips underneath you, okay? So you should feel the stretch all along this quad. And then, this is how I started for the first couple months that I did it, and then once you wanna go to the next step, you twist for like probably 30 degrees or so, and then you, you turn. So you're stretching this entire side, okay? And then same thing. Yeah, and also helps with balance and all that good stuff. And then to come out of it, you just reverse your move. So you straighten, go back to middle, and then come back. And then we'll switch sides. And then those are the main three Eldova sessions. So make sure your toes tucked underneath you, hips adjusted forward, arms go forward, turn, and twist. Good job.